What is up guys, it's Mike Chimim here, welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough. This is episode 19 of the Gothic 3 playthrough, and in this episode we're gonna do all the quests of Braga. So without further ado guys, let's begin. I will kill the beast! First, gonna get Diego. It's uh, my summon snapper, you know. But still here, apparently. Hey, Diego, what's up? I've been nosing around a bit. Looks like Zubin is still the undisputed There's ruler of the desert. Of these beasts. Zubin? Maybe I should go pay him a visit. Hmm, it won't be so easy. Zubin is sitting tight in his palace in Ishtar, and they won't let you in unless they can be sure you're a friend of the Hashishin. So. What do I need to do? You will have to do a bit of work for the Hashishin. But it looks like there will be plenty to do. You should make friends with the Black Mages. They are the most influential group. What are you doing here in Braga? I was going to hunt for a while. Lucas says they have some dark snappers here. Their leather is suitable for the manufacture of armor. We could go together if you want. Let's go hunting. Off we go! Wait, 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 no. We will wait. You better wait. Because uh, first I first have to go to the water vendor. Let me let me first talk with uh, this guy over here. So I can get the quest with the uh, snapper leather. You aren't from here. Tell me. Have you come to discover the secrets of Beliar? What sort of secrets? We black mages command magic spells of great power. We command the gift of the ancient divine magic. Ah, magic spells. And in the city of Ishtar, the art of two-handed fighting has been taught for many years. But only a man who makes good deals is worthy of learning our secrets. I want to offer you such a deal. What do you say? What is it? I am offering you the opportunity for a good deal, and you ask what is it? All I want to hear from you is that you're in. Sure, I'm in. Then listen. These men here owe tribute to Zuben. It's not as though they do not want to pay, but they managed to have it taken from them. What happened? To fail, that son of a fool let himself be robbed by a handful of nomads. But it is high time Zuben received what he is due. It is time for the merchants to pay. Therefore, they should all pay again. And you will handle this affair for me. I see. Do you have anything else that needs to be done? Ayla, the pearl of the city has been abducted. I want her back. Discuss the details with Jose. Which men are on your list? The three merchants here in Braga. Each of them owes Suben 500 gold coins. And Abbas, the water vendor. I am expecting a chalice from him. Talk to him. He knows exactly what I want. And Tufail. What shall we do with Tufail? Hmm. It is his fault the tribute was stolen. I have already banished him from the city. But he is still in the vicinity. If he can pay, which I do not believe, he can live as far as I'm concerned. If not, make short work of him. That will serve as a warning to the others. Right. Hey, welcome to Braga. I am Luca. Do you have anything to sell? I am inconsolable, but I cannot offer you any armor. All the hunters who worked for me are dead. They were caught in a nomad ambush. Maybe you should try the next city. Where is the next city? Benarai is to the east. Sancho holds the mining village tightly in his grip. There's always something to do there. And if you're tough enough, you could also try making your way to Morosu. The great slave fortress lies south of here. But the way... Is very perilous. I have come to demand your tribute. Looks like you've come in vain, then. I haven't got a single coin. That's not my problem. Wait, let me propose you a deal. Like what? Bring me some dark leather, and I can make some armor for you. And in exchange, you want me to pay the tribute for you? I don't owe Zuban all that much, only 500 gold coins. Armor made by me is worth much more than that. What if I don't accept this? 
Break all my bones if you want. I haven't got any gold. I suppose I have no choice. All right, I agree. Thank you, son of judiciousness. You've struck a good bargain. Yeah, we'll see. Welcome, traveler. I hope you leave some of your luck with us. I am Jose, the slave trader. If you are interested in work, I have got something for you. I have come to collect your tribute. Of course I will pay. Give my compliments to Nafalam. What do you have to offer me? The nomads keep attacking us. Several tribes are wreaking havoc around here. I will pay you a hefty bounty for each tribe leader that you kill. Who are the tribe leaders? Malir and Taklar are the leaders of these bands of raiders. They are ambushing travelers in the ruins. They are the same ones who attacked Tufail and stole our tribute. We have not seen hide nor hair of Asaru's tribe in a while. That is the way those nomads are. You never know where the bastards are hanging out. What do you know about Isla? Isla? She was the flower of Braga. What happened? It was a raid. Asaru and his tribe simply stole her away. No wonder they are no longer in the area. He's probably sitting in his camp right now, watching her dance, that son of a scoundrel. All right. All right, I'm done, Diego, let's go. Snapper hunting it is. Another one of those beasts. Another one of those beasts. I hate those beasts. They do quite some damage for jackals. Another one of those beasts. I hate those beasts. Uh, just don't. Uh, well done. Miserable beast. Beasts just don't learn. Take that, rotten beast. Just don't learn. I hate those beasts. So do I, man. So do I. Let's go. I can smell those snappers already. You've got must have a good nose then.
Another one of those beasts! Can I have both? No, I can't, okay. There must be a nest around here somewhere. Okay, so I know that now too. Can't have a controlled animal. This is a dangerous place. I wouldn't be surprised if nomads were hiding out here somewhere. What are you going to do next? Well, to tell you the truth, I have no big plans. I was thinking I may just hunt a bit and line my pockets with gold. You are the one who knows what needs to be done. And if you need me, we can tackle things together. Teach me something about hunting. You don't have the ne Teach me something about thievery. With thievery, still so many things to learn. But currently no learning points. Come with me. Good. Let's hunt some more snappers, will shall we? Well done. Miserable beast. How many do I have now? Ten. Should be enough. Let's go. Somewhere around here, I'm gonna kill everything in the vicinity. Well done. <laughs> Especially these jackals, since the only thing that they have is teeth. Which is good, I need teeth for sharp arrows. Where's Diego, Mr. Goblin? Oh, there you are. Oh! 
I hate those beasts. There's also a fire mage near them. Now in order to get 100 reputation, you know, at least 75 reputation, you have to kill some of the water mages. I will try not to do it, but um, since I do want to get legal access to the um, to Zubin, you know, before liberating the area for the nomads, We'll see, you know, if I have to kill and they are useless in any way or sense, you know, unable to teach me something or anything in that regard, they could be eliminated, but preferable not. But we'll see. Stop it right now! Oh. Stop right there! Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You showed him. I supposed to be dead. And that was one of the uh, rogues, nomads. Now in this particular playthrough, you know, the Path of Animals, I will eventually choose the side of the nomads. But just like in the Orcs, you know, cities, I will try to get as many reputation as possible. And then at some point I get quests, which is going to go against my will for me to do, you know, like killing the water mages still doubting about you know should i kill a couple of water mages or none at all i think about none at all well done <laughs> 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 In the end, this guy will choose water mages and nomads over the Hashishin. And as Hashishin, I will also win the 40 orcs in Mertana. But instead of the nomads, it will be the Hashishin. And thus, the fire mages can be killed. Well, water mages.
and as a rebel the king will king uh, the king will win for Mertana and the water mages and the nomads will win the desert not like that <laughs> well take that rotten beast because you know the fact that the uh Hushishin work together with the orcs and since the servant of Enos, also known as the rebel, will be against the orcs, he will also be against the Shishin. However, I will complete all the quests on every path, just for the mere XP. Unless I don't need to have certain capabilities anymore, you know. I also have 71% reputation with the orcs. As soon as that reached 75, I will quickly go to Faring and uh, get my armor. I hate those beasts. And uh, there's also the ranger's armor that I still need. And I googled it yesterday, you know, to see which rangers slash druids sell these druid robes as well as the hunter gear. And um, the two that were mentioned I killed, which are Runok, the druid of the shadow beast, and uh, Tenor, or whatever, Tonak, whatever his name was, the druid of the snapper. If that is the case, then I cannot get the Hunter's Armor anymore with this particular one. Although I hope, I hope that uh, Lester will, uh, which also wears a Druid robe, you know, will allow me to purchase a Ranger's outfit. But I can't make any promises. Here. Now we'll help him. He's not gonna drink it. Well, at least he's gonna keep it for safekeeping. But each path has its own, you know, each individual potential and reasons on why I, he does certain things differently than other paths, you know. I'll talk with this mortar mage later. He will uh, guide me to Azaru. I will do that when I'm pretty much done in Braga, you know. Alright, let's go, uh, Gorn. Here's the leather. I found some more armor in the camp. You can have it. May it protect you well at all times. Welcome, traveler. Welcome. I know why you are here, and you have come to exactly the right place. Oh, really? You have come to buy a superb weapon. And if you haven't, I have even more goods to offer. Take a look. Show me your goods. I already have the silent death. I do need some uh, 230. I got 220, I think. But I already have it. Cost me uh, 36,000. No, no, I don't want to buy the weapons. I only want the arrows. Alright, so let's sell. Don't need a shish in armor, so I will just sell it.
I need 10 lurker claws and 10 lurker skins I believe so I will just keep get it to 10 for one of the quests in uh, Lago which will be two episodes away from now something like that all in all 6,000 thanks all right so let's talk with the water vendor and uh, to Fayul. Wanderer, wait! Do not pay greetings, traveler. Welcome to Barrett, the great desert. You must be thirsty. Here, have a sip of cool water. Tell me about the desert. The desert is a dangerous place. You will not get far without their water. Beyond the paths, lurk nomads and wild beasts. I do not know which is worse. So, before you go off into the wilderness, get yourself a decent weapon. And of course, you need to carry enough water at all times. We Hashish and live in the cities. You will be safe there. Where can I get a weapon? Follow this path. It will take you directly to Braga. It is only a small village, but you cannot miss it. You will get everything you need there. Their water is not as fresh as what I can give you, of course. Of course. Tell me about your people. We Hashishin are a humble people, oppressed by Ino's scorching curse. The merciless sun lets almost nothing grow in this country. You could say that we live hand to mouth. Is that so? Naturally, there are some creature comforts, but those are reserved for Zubin and his black mages. Who is Zubin? Zubin is our great leader. He is ancient and possesses the power of Belia. We pay him tribute, and he keeps Belia's wrathful gaze away from us. And his warriors and black mages protect us from the nomads. Tribute? Gold and precious goods. We pay him so that no harm may befall us. I see. I've come to collect your tribute. I would pay son of forbearance, but I am afraid that mere gold will not suffice. I promised Zubin my chalice, the chalice of water vendors. But of course, you no longer have it. I gave it to Tufael when he collected the tribute, but that son of a jinx allowed them to take it from him. I humbly beg of you, find the chalice and bring it to Nathalem. Where could the chalice be? The nomads have it. Their hideouts are nearby, within the fields of ruins. Show me your goods. Alright, so let's talk with Tufail. Move along, stranger. Marauding nomads are lurking everywhere around here. What are you doing here? I have been banished from my own city, from Braga. I was the boss there, but now Nafalem is sitting in my place. What happened? I collected the tribute for Zubin, but then the nomads ambushed me and stole everything. And that's why they kicked you out? Yes. I am lucky I'm still alive. Tell me about Zubin. Zubin is our great leader. He sits in the palace of Ishtar and bears the power of Beliar. We pay him tribute, so that he keeps the wrathful gaze of Beliar from us. Nafalem sent me. Well, my pockets are empty. I don't have a single coin. But wait, before you kill me, let me suggest a deal. Let's hear it. Fight with me against Malor and his raiders. If we are victorious, you will have more gold than my life is worth. You can keep all of the loot we get. And then I'm supposed to let you go? And pay my tribute to Nafalem. That is my offer. All right. We will fight against the raiders. You will not regret this, son of Valor. I know where Mala and his raiders are hiding out. They have a cave here. We can go as soon as you are ready. Let's attack the nomads. Then forward into battle. Forward into battle. Let's go, go on. Uh, go on, Diego.
Alright, so this can be quite a challenge, so let me quick save. Rest in peace, Gobo. Hmm, I'm wondering, shall I kill the bugger? Let me quick save again. To see if I kill him, if it will give me Hashishin reputation, if not, I will check the other option relatively quick. See if that gives Hashishin reputation, just to make sure that I do the one with the Hashishin reputation. Mala has been defeated. Good work. You take the loot and give it to Nafalim. He won't welcome me back to the city, but at least I won't die. What are you going to do next? I will go to Abbas, the water merchant. At least I won't die of thirst there. Okay, so since I already agreed with it, you know, um, I can't really kill him. So I will just pay the fine. And you can also teach me how to resist the heat, which is very handy if you're not gonna go for the Ashishin playthrough, because in the default armor that you get for free for the quest with the snappers, it will automatically have resistance to heat. As a Shishin I will kill him. As a rebel I'm not quite sure yet. But uh, as this guy I will let him live. Can you teach me something? If you don't want to die of thirst, I can teach you an old trick. You don't have the necessary experience. Still haven't leveled up though. Mm. So once you agree with him, you know, you, there's no turning back. So as a rebel I will kill him beforehand and has a... No, as a Shishin I mean I will kill him beforehand, you know, because of the fact that he can't pay the tribute. It was an order from Nafalem. So as a Shishin I'm very dedicated towards the Shishins, you know. And as a rebel I will also make use of him to clear out that area because uh, it's going to be quite tricky especially with the Shishin playthrough so I'm not 100% sure yet but the secondary option will be taken as well you know the instantly killing for a bit of diversity I've come to get your tribute. So? Tufail also said that some time ago, and I trusted him with my gold. And what did he do? He let a handful of nomads take it away from him. Does that mean you don't want to pay? That's the way it is, stranger. I already paid, and I won't pay another coin. I can only hope so. You're in business with the nomads. 
That should interest Nafalem. Wait, wait, son of Cunning. That can stay between us. No need to tell anyone else. That depends. What is my silence worth to you? I will pay you 500 gold pieces. What about your tribute? Of course, I will pay. I hate it when that happens. Mm, now, as a Shishin, I will most definitely ignore his uh, purchase. It will all look as a rebel. Mm. Everybody needs to I'll sure. just beat the, you know, I'll, as this one I will beat the letter, you know, I'll beat the gold out of him, and uh, I will give the letter to Nafelem, since the orcs and the Hashishin are working together. As a rebel I will sell it, and as a Shishin I will also kick his ass, you know, and report him to Nafelem. I guess I'll have to beat the tribute out of you. You can try it. You are no challenge for me. Going to be a fight. No. Oh. Harry, will you? No, you can't. <clears throat> oh. Broken. Let me quickly talk with the water vendor. I found the chalice. Then take it to Nafalem, I beg you. Okay, okay, I'll deliver it. Just making doubly sure, you know, there is no uh, other options. How about it? Will you pay now? You leave me no choice, father of heavy blows. I think something's bound to happen soon. Let me tell you, be careful. 800 gold pieces. Really? Oh well, I agree to it. Here. This is from Tufail. What? Then that's that is going to be. But. Hmm. I cannot imagine that he came up with the gold by himself. Oh, so. You should be careful, traveler. Generosity can be a so great weakness, but tribute is tribute. Good. I accept the gold. I think Beliar is testing me. I have the chalice of the water vendors. Ah. This chalice sure is worth a special token of my gratitude. I'll pay the tribute for Luca. I hope you at least made a good deal with him. Everybody needs Here is the tribute from Jose. I don't suppose he caused you any trouble. He is a good merchant. He sold slaves to all the soon. orcs that came by. And the pass is the only way into the desert. And that's how it's going to be. Here is the tribute from Bernardo. He end. didn't give you any trouble, did he? Um, well, not really. Not help you, then. About the tribute. Yes, I am reasonably so. satisfied. I suppose there's nothing more to be had here. Somebody it is probably is better if I stay here and keep the peace. As for you, I shall recommend you an Ishtar. Carry on like this, and you will soon be a friend of the Hashishin. By Beliar, I would not what can you do for me? Since you have proven capable, I shall instruct you in the arts of magic. Teach me something about ancient magic. Alright, so let's quick save again and uh, see what the reward is for ratting him out to Nafalem. Don't cause any trouble here. Got it? Bernardo is providing the nomads with weapons. Right before my eyes! That mangy son of a jackal! I ought to kill him for that! Hmm. But if I have him killed, the village will soon be empty. Besides... He is the only weapons merchant far and wide. I shall grant him his life. But he will pay for it through his nose. And believe me, the next one who tries to play us for fools will curse the day he was born. As for you, you have earned the reward. Here. So that only gave a, um, you know, reputation in Braga. So I have to check with Ashishin. You know what happens if I give it to him. 
Well, how is business? You cursed son of a... Yes, you were saying? You betrayed me. I should never deal with you again. But I need gold to pay my debt, so I continue to be at your service. Well then... You are sure to go far, son of business. Show me your goods. It's nothing personal, my friend. Let me tell you, be careful. Well, the time has come to act. We cannot help you then. It's gold, it's good though. Thanks. Somebody is going to pay for this. All right, so what's left on the menu? It's always the same old story. I have done away with Taklar. You have earned the bounty then. You should be very careful. I took care of Malor. I bow to your bravery, I son be of Pierre. At once. Take this gold as a reward for your deed. I've been waiting for this moment. Okay. Let's heal up and then go to uh, the Water Mage. That would happen. She get in contact with Azeru. Now, I will not kill Azeru due to the fact I will join the, no the Nomads, you know, in their uh, raiding of Praga and the entire desert, basically. But, uh, as a Shishin, he will die, but that's, you know, obvious. Only need 75% reputation with the path that I join, preferably 100 but at least 75% and uh, you know so for this guy it would be the orcs already almost completed that I'm currently at 71 so in uh, Lago I should be able to get it to 75 maybe you know who knows I'm not entirely sure as a rebel I support the king and as a Shishin I will support the Hashishins the rest is optional, you know, but Mertana is one nation and uh, Verint is another. Nordmar is pretty much always the same in each path. Well done, miserable beast. That miserable beast killed me, almost. But I'm looking for the water mage. Miserable beast. As always, I will loot plants and whatnot, you know. But I do that so I, eventually I will have all the alchemists' ingredients, and, you know, and then I can transfer them into potions to sell or for use, you know. It's better to be well prepared and well stocked and not need any of them than have the need of it but not having anything at all, you know. So I always pick up pretty much everything. If I won't use it, at least has it, it has gold purposes, you know. So in the end, it's always useful at all times, at all costs. But uh, the Paladin, the Rebel, will be the most expensive one when it comes to armors, you know. And the Ashishin, I think, will be the cheapest, but I'm not entirely sure. And I do hope that Lester can uh, sell me a Ranger's outfit, otherwise I can't get it anymore. Which means I miss one collectible. Which is fine, you know, but I really wanted to have all the uh, Adenos armor types 
Well, look who's here. What are you doing here? I wonder that myself. It isn't safe here in any case. And what are you looking for here? Actually, I'm looking for ancient knowledge. Stone tablets, artifacts, anything that the Ancient Ones left behind. Where are the other water mages? Satyrus made it to the ancient temple city of Al Shadim. He is certain that one of the divine artifacts is there. Medarian and a tribe of nomads have set out for the temple of Morasul, and Nefarious is far to the northwest. He is on the trail of an ancient legend. I don't know anything about the others. What are you planning now? I want out of here. I've got raiders behind me and a Shishin in front. This is not a good place to look for stone tablets, but there is a nomad hideout in the cliffs to the west. Azaru's tribe is staying there. They have discovered a couple of ancient inscriptions. The way is dangerous. I could use your help. What exactly do you water mages have to do with the nomads? We are one people. And before King Robar sent us to the island of Carinus, we roamed the land of our fathers together. Why did you answer the king's call? Well, Nordmar and Mertana were being fought over. The orcs conquered one city after another. We believed we could end the war with the ore from the island. Well, that came to nothing. No. The War of the Gods now rages worse than ever before, because it is close to being decided. All right, I'll accompany you to Azaru. I know the way, so follow me. This is also the reason why I liberated Mertana, so that line makes sense, you know. Because no matter if you liberated the areas or not, he will, he will say that nevertheless, you know. Because he knows that you are the decider, he knows that you are the one that have to, you know, end the wars once and for all. Didn't loot those swords. Oh, what a fail. Do have the druid rope as you can see, but uh, back then I didn't have the gold for the 25,000 rangers outfit. This one cost me 20,000. But as a shishin I will also wear the uh, rangers outfit. Not the druid's rope, but the rangers outfit nevertheless because He's gonna need some time before he actually arrives, you know, at uh, at the desert. Because he will also first go through entire Mertana, but I'm not allowed to purchase mercenary armor or, you know, a rebel armor if I'm not gonna join that particular side. In Mertana's case, the Hashishin will work for the Orcs, so I will get the armors with that particular path, but that's because I have to, you know. The Orcs and the Hashishin work together, so my Hashishin character must also work together with the Hashishin and the Orcs. If that's the way you want it! Oof, not a good moment to, to quick save, but, uh, you know. It's better you than Mana Torrid. Are you fucking kidding me? Beast. 
only in my hardcore run will it take my character quite a while for uh, before liberating any city whatsoever but that's because my path of the decider is going to be a, a weird playthrough because he's gonna you know destroy the rebels then the orcs destroy the rebels then the orcs destroy the rebels slowly and efficiently um, but you know that all depends on whether it's possible or not and I'm currently checking how much reputation can I get with the orcs with certain decisions not taken you know so I can compare it to let's say my Hashishin playthrough and then see if it's possible to get the three paths combined to 75% if I do it you know um, you know even let, let's say you know I join <coughs> the orcs I killed the rebels but if I'm correctly, if I then kill the orc cities and then liberate them, I still get the reputation with the rebels. I ca can't get a reward for it, but it should still, you know, give me the reputation. If that is the case, then I believe, and I'm not entirely sure, then I believe that it's it, at least possible to uh, get a few on 75%. Well done. You know, with one run. Miserable beast. Because as a chosen one, you know, which is the hardcore run, I will max out the character in everything. Enos magic, Adonos magic, Balear magic in one. You know, two-handed. Uh, do a wield one handed or one handed and a shield, he will master them all. Another one of those beasts! Better you than me. But only if it's possible, you know, if I see the opportunity there. Because uh, in order to check that thoroughly, I need to beat all three paths. So I can individually check, you know, which quest Another did I complete for that specific path, which I didn't. What could I improve? Which quests give all Hashishin XP? You know, which ones give Orc XP? Ooh. How do I have to divide them? Take that, rotten beast! in order to make sure I don't get any problems with the rebels or problems with the orcs or the Shishin or the nomads, you know, etc. Everything combined. Um, and that's why I currently also don't have thumbnails yet. Because of the fact that as soon as I beat Gothic 3, I will be e equipped in a certain way. This guy will wear the water robe, well, he will collect the water robe but will wear the garments of Adonos, you know. Which means I have to kill the orcs nevertheless. Um, but I will give the artifacts first to the orcs just to get that separate ending, you know. And then reload and then kill Khan, kill Zubin, kill King Robar. Um, which I'm, will be most likely already dead. I want that stone. Wait. Do I, do I have a sleep spell? Oh, let me see. Do I have sleep? You're keeping dangerous company. Wouldn't be the first time. There are only two reasons why you should <sighs> be here. There are. Either you want my head, or you intend to join us. Not now, my friend. Not now. And Adno said to his brothers, Never more shall you set foot in my land, for it is sacred, and thus shall it be. Ah, interesting. Now, sorry for the first uh, conversation what skip was that? that was accidental, but, uh, you know, I put him to sleep so I could read that tablet. Let's talk, read, talk with him. Now, since I'm gonna join them, um, well, actually, it is my duty to join them due to the fact they work together with the Water Mages, and I work for the Water Mages because the Water Mages work for Adonos, same with the Druids. 
but sometimes you have to make rash decisions. I had to kill Renok um, and Torn due to the fact of Orc quests for that particular city, you know. If the Water Mage is for sample turn useless, but I already have all the things that I've learned, etc., then I can still look and say, hmm, let me kill them, you know, if needed. If it's not needed, then I won't do it. But at the moment, I still need plenty of levels. What exactly do you mean by join? We need someone who has access to the cities. With your help, we could prepare for battle against the Hashishan. Then we will free Braga. Because here is the thing, you know. This guy does serve Adonos, and the other two does serve Enos and Baliar. But in the end, they will figure out that no matter what path they took, you know, whether it was giving artifacts to King Robar, humans won the war, a new war occurred, you know. Same with the Orcs, the Orcs won, but a new war occurred. Same with the Shishin. And thus, they will go with Zardas into the mountains, which is the original ending, and just say, you know, the gods were not the problem for this wars, they are just being used for the purpose of wars. Which means that this guy, my other two guys, will eventually have to kill their own leader, because I have to do that before I can go with Zardas into the mountains, if I remember correctly. If I can let them live, then that's a different story, you know. But as long as I need learning points, as long as I need to level certain things like ancient malknowledge, magical capabilities, druid perks, you know, water mage perks, things that are very important to my particular character build, I have to level at all costs. Whether it's killing all the critters, whether it's killing the water mages, whether it's killing the druids, whatever it takes to get to the max stats. Alright. Let us cooperate. A wise decision. Listen then. The clans of the Nomads have left the path of tranquility. We are now traveling on the path of combat. Some clans have succumbed to the wrath of Beliar. They roam the land, murdering and pillaging, never distinguishing between friends and enemies. Beware of these people. Would you teach me how to fight? Still no two-handed trainer. Hmm. I'm starting to think that only Nordmar soldiers train them, which means it will be quite some time before I actually get that one in particular. Um, same with orc hunting, you know, I know for that for a fact that it's Nordmar only. But we'll see, you know, if I come across a train, I will train it nevertheless, but currently it looks like Nordmar is the only place where I could learn the mastery of two-handed weapons. What am I supposed to do? Bring Isla back to Braga. Nafala must be pining away for her already. This will make him careless. He's going to think that we are dead. Talk to the others before you go. They will tell you what remains to be done. It's not per se, you know, about getting reputation 100% in each city with each, you know, Pacific site. It's about first he will wander, he will help people whenever he can to get gold, get better equipment, be become stronger etc so that then at some point he has to choose a side because you know it has to be done nevertheless you know and in my hardcore run I will kill all sides guaranteed you know I will kill Zubin I will kill Khan I will liberate every area every city everything but that's because he knows that no matter what he does humans nor orcs will change because that's our nature you know we want to control we want to use up the power and other beings do exactly have the same issue so are you our new man looks that way then we finally have a chance to free braga but before we attack we still need to make a few preparations what do you need we need better weapons get us three bundles of weapons then we will take the risk before that forget it what do you do here the Hashishan store a lot of treasures in their cities. Silver, gold, bring me everything you find. I'll give you a good price for it. What do you do with the junk? We take it back to their cities and sell it to them again. Can you enter their cities? Ha! No nomad can enter a city of the Hashishan. But many of the slaves are nomads. 
they funnel the stuff back into the cities. And there, the merchants pay for their own stuff all over again. If you want to know how to really fleece a merchant, I could show you a few tricks. Where do I get three bundles of weapons? The merchant Bernardo deals in weapons. We know that he secretly supplies the feuding tribes. Maybe you can find something with him. Here are the bundles of weapons. Very good. With these, we can risk an attack. Talk to Azaru when you're ready to attack Braga. Show me your goods. Oh. Oh, and it all had resistance to heat, so that means I really don't have to learn it. Although the armor is crappy, you know. Not yet. First prove. Not yet. First prove that you are worthy. Okay. Death bring of mine is better. Um, but it is my particular path, so, uh. You're all right. I'm gonna purchase it as a collectible, you know, um, since I will join the nomads and rebel, well, destroy the desert in the name of the nomads. I want to have their armors as well, you know, so I will just buy them slowly but efficiently as collectibles. It's not better than mine, you know. Where is it? It's even worse than the human orc mercenary armor. No, it's better. It has the same stats, but resistance to heat. You know, but... This one is still the best. This one is very good versus magic. This one is very bad versus magic. But good versus blade. And this one is, you know, okay versus blade. Alright, so let's uh, get the other one. Ayatos. Can you teach me something? I'll teach you everything I know about hunting. We will attack Braga. Braga is a good bit from here. Before we attack, we'll assemble in the Fields of Ruins. Make sure the Fields of Ruins are secure. Teach me something about hunting. He doesn't have anything to learn me. That's good. The Fields of Ruins are secure. Good. Talk to Azra when you're ready for the attack. I can't give you much, but if you like, I will share my knowledge of the ancient magic with you. You aren't ready for that? You aren't ready for that? Teach me something about ancient magic. Adonis has chosen you to wield his magic. Use it well. Adonis has chosen you to wield his magic. Use it well. Come on, you know, at least did some, you know, conversations about the path of Adonis, you yeah, know. Teach me. Carry on like that. Now, since I have learned quickly every level that I get, I will get one bonus learning point. You know, which is nice, but, you know, it's not really that wow, you know. In the long run, it is wow, you know. Every uh, five levels, you have five extra learning points, which is pretty decent. But uh, with alternative. Um, balance thingy on it's kind of useless I don't have it on right now but that's because of the first part the second part will have it on and then I will see what's easier to accomplish you know the one because uh, each part have to be a specific level to get full build and have to figure out you know slowly which path needs which level for full equipment you know and then calculate what will it cost me to get the others as well and then see what the max level requirement is for my hardcore run. But learn quickly is very relatively useful. Not always, but sometimes it is. Alright, Ayala. Let me first loot all these plants and whatnot. Don't mind me stealing, guys. Just stealing the plants. He 
he's either blind or he doesn't mind. Let's see if I can make some, uh, what do I need more? HP potions. Maybe I can make some hunting, wait, let me check real fast. Hunting was maxed, but I still need 230 for my bow at the moment. So I do need to train my hunting. So I need, let's say, to give two each, plenty. Let's see if I can make any. I can make one, well, better one than none. It will save me uh, using learning points in the end, you know. Because uh, even though I don't have to train my hunting anymore, I do need it for this bow. 230 hunting requirements, 150 damage, which is uh, 35 more, 45 more than my uh, current bow, which would increase things by a lot, you know, the faster I kill things, the faster I go through the game, the lesser episode it requires, and, um, oh, Ayala, the better it is, you know, win-win. Let me quick save and see if they mind if I steal their chests, I, I think they do. But I can't open that one yet anyways. Alright, so let's get Aela. I'll take you out of here. Good. Now this has two options as well. Give it to Jose, you know, the uh merchant, or give it to Nafalem. Since this guy works for the orcs, he's gonna give it to Nafalem because you know the orcs and the Hashishin work together. But, as a uh, Hashishin, I will still have to decide which one I take. It depends which of the two options give uh, Hashishin reputation slash city reputation. Um, because I do need to get 75% reputation in each city, at least, you know. If it's above that, nice. If it isn't, then, you know, that's fine. But it should be at least... 75% because it has to be 75% for area access to you know the leaders and whatnot. Well done. Certain privileges. I hate those beasts. Yeah, so do I. I'm currently level 45 and uh, I still need this one, I still need this one and this one and this tree is done because fire mage for Enos, water mage is for this one, dark mage is for Balear, you know. This one I only need this, this and that one and it's done. Because this is for Paladin. You know. Don't need that. It's only for my Enos playthrough. As a... You know, I will not learn these two. Because of the fact that I will get Ancient Magic. Which allows me to open locks. I will get these. And these. And this one is finished. I need that one, that one, that one, and that one, then it's just finished, these two, finished, you know, and then these three, and then it's finished, and this, right here, is full. Which is not that many, and then I still need these, this, 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 and this. So I need about 250 Ancient Knowledge. The problem with alternative you know, balance thingy on that you can do with community patch is the further you progress, just like in Gothic 1 and just like in Gothic 2 the stronger you become, the more learning points you have to invest for 5 so let's say, you know, you have uh, 200 strength 
and you want to get it to 220. Well done. It will cost you, those let's beasts. say, 10 learning points instead of 5. You know, for one, 5 points. That's why I currently have it disabled to see how many learning points I have left. So I can calculate will I make it with the path of Enos. If not, I have to turn it off, you know. And if I do, then uh, don't get bugged, please. Thank you. And if I do make it easily, then I can say, you know, let's do it with alternative, i.e. on. <coughs> Which will most likely be done with the path of Enos, since his strength requirement is not that high. Two-handers require way more strength than a one-hander. Uh, oh here. But you know, that's logic. This guy currently has 330 strength. This weapon requires 200 something. So I really hope I can get a better two-handed weapon soon. But, uh... First priority is getting my reputation from the Orcs, from 71 to 75. And then uh, I will be able to get the heavy mercenary armor. No, I'm re already able to get that one. Mm. But then I will get at least the armor from Khan, you know, the Orc commander armor. Um, but I will still get the heavy armor as a collectible, you know, at the very least. But I will purchase the heavy armor once I'm done here with this uh, area in particular. And I can tell Diego to wait at Braga. Quickly teleport to Cape Don or whatever, you know, and uh, get the heavy mercenaries armor. So that when I do have the 75%, I will get the Orc Commander armor which will be way better than any mercenary armor and uh, I will wear that then, you know, obviously, so I at least want to have wear the heavy armor for a couple of episodes so I will get it afterwards Well done! This is all your own fault! I will try at least, you know, to uh, get every playthrough a bit of uniqueness in them, you know. Which is not easy to do with uh, games like Gothic, because the entire game is pretty much the same. You only have a different outcome, you know, different build, different uh, size that you join. That's pretty much it, you know, certain decisions that you make at certain quests. But, you know. You gotta do with what you have to do with, you know. Can't change the rules of the game, so I have to adjust myself to the rules of the game as efficiently as possible. And I'm no expert, you know, I make mistakes too. But I will try to get them uniquely different as possible. I'm gonna quick save, see what the uh, merchant guy gives me. If I remember correctly, it's crap. Down. Wait! What is it? I want to make you an offer. You freed Isla. I will give you 500 gold coins for her. She is free. What else do you want? Now, as a rebel, I will take the gold, but for now, I will say nah. No. I take them back myself. Whatever you say. Uniqueness. You know, I will uh, notice what I get for it the next time with the next playthrough. Go back now! You know where to find me! He will chill here on this bench. You know. So, I'll, I'll just let him sit there, wait. Till I get my heavy mercenary's armor. 
I will bring Isla back. Excellent. She will sweeten my Brother. nights with her dancing. I assume that Azaru will pose no more problems for us? Asaru is no longer an issue. Good. Then go take care of something else. Here, hand out a little gold. Azuru. Now, if you want to complete these two and get 100% reputation, you have to kill Azuru and then you will only be allowed to complete this one. I will not kill Azuru because I'm gonna join the nomads in the long run. But, uh, we're pretty much done here for now. So let me quickly go to, um, which would be the smartest decision. Let's go to Cape Don. Where's Cape Don? Get myself a heavy mercenary's armor. Sell some things in the process as well. Now this armor will cost me about 70,000, so I'll be instantly poor again. But that's fine, you know, since I cannot find a merchant yet with armor for a hunter. Since I killed the only two options, which I currently knew, Runok and uh, the Snapper guy, Snapper Druid. Why is the desert music still running? Show me your goods. <laughs> Bit of big bugness. You're all right. Yeah, I bet I am. Hmm? I could have told you that. If he goes on like that, he'll never get anywhere. Now, since I have sleep, you know, I don't really That's need the spell scrolls anymore. I have a room for that now. Sure, why not? It doesn't matter to you. Some problems. So all mercenary armors have been collected. Stop screwing around. No. So now I have to get the ranger's armor, the nomad armors, the artifact of Adenos, and um, the water mage rope. And then I've got all the armors. Although I fear, you know, my gut feeling fears that uh, I cannot get the hunter's arm anymore. But we'll see what Lester. So uh, let's teleport back to Braga. Oh wait, still got double, double stones. It doesn't matter to you. All right, so let's go to Braga. As if I don't already have enough problems. And I'll uh, finish uh, about the episode, guys. So, let's get Diego. Let me quickly check which my next city will be. Benerai. And then Lago. Bensala. Bakaresh. Morasu. And I go this road back to Braga and then from this I will go to Ishtar but I can't go to Ishtar until you know I have 75% reputation with that shishin well let's get Diego come with me good so that if I level I can learn a bit more about hunting because I have to get my better bow but anyways guys, thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like what you see, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you do, hit the notification bell and uh, while you're at it, make sure to leave behind a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you feel, you know, it should be received, you know, that's entirely up to you and uh, feedback both positive or negative is always welcome in the comment section down below so uh, 
hope to see you guys next time and uh, good day to you all. Good night guys.